My name is Umbreen Inayat. I'm an artistic director and curator of the Awakenings program at Toronto History Museums. Shackle the mental, never the energy. Huh. I know why they taught us love that enemy. Stories matter, and when you're not seen in Canadian history, it makes you feel like you don't matter, and we're here to change that and hold space for truth. Awakenings is about two things, consciousness and truth. It was created as a strategy for cultural recovery coming out of the pandemic. It's all about healing, it's all about telling stories, and it's all about using this time to think about anti-oppressive, anti-colonial, and anti-racist practices that have taken place in Canadian history that we need to address today. Been through some things, I've seen some things. We're using creativity to heal, we're using creativity to tell stories, and so we've created a Black History Month playlist. To end world hunger. And you'll see a film with women calling for a revolution of love uh, located in Fort York. You'll see a ton of films from a program called We Were Always Here. That was a mentorship we created with Director X. We have so much that you can, you can learn about, listen to. It's dedicated to artists of color, and we specialize and focus on artists who really want to reclaim erasure, you know, stories that were never even told in their own perspective. So artists like, you know, Quentin Versetti, who's doing his monument dedicated to Joshua Glover. I'll go by the name of Quentin Versetti. I use my art to tell stories about the future and help to people, to help make people think about their connection to the future and, and what are we doing today to contribute to the future that we all want to see. So the Joshua Glover monument that I created was Toronto's first monument of a person of African descent. But more importantly, it was a monument that was dedicated to Afrofuturism. It's a man who is going through transition. The first part of his transition is his cyborg arm. And uh, the cyborg arm has changed wrapped around it. And this represents the fact that Joshua Glover, for the majority of his life, he was once enslaved in the state of Missouri. And then we see him transforming where he's now acquiring human flesh. And this represents him recognizing his humanity, people recognizing his humanity. Being able to see someone who looks like you, who resembles you in some so sort of way, and realizing that the things that they attained, uh, the realizing some of their feats are very much tangible to any human being. Having more monuments, having more uh, permanent pieces in the city helps us to recognize that we can learn from the past and how can we better improve our communities, improve our society for the future.